everybody. So today we're going to try Transient Artisan Ales Tiki Smootharine. Now we did have, Jessica and I reviewed the, I, I believe it was the Blueberry Cobbler of this. And uh, we went to Megabev a couple weeks ago and they had three new ones. So we do have, there's Key Lime Pie, the Tiki, and I can't even remember what the other one was. So sour ale with pineapple puree, orange juice, coconut cream, vanilla ice cream, and vanilla extract. Uh, this is 4.5% ABV, uh, $3.99. For this so let's go ahead and get open and the blueberry cobbler version was awesome so hopefully these are the same but we are gonna find out let's see if we can get some kind of head on there eh, a little one off-white colored head uh, kind of yellowish translucent coming up through there pretty much all small bubbles about a quarter finger of head color yeah hazy yellow looks like pineapple juice you can't go wrong with that uh, it does look like there's a ton of stuff floating in there so it was puree orange juice that's what it was okay it would, I mean, obviously, I'm guessing most people are going to drink this out of the can. Um, but I wonder that, that that cream, the coconut cream, isn't that like pure white? So there must be a lot of other stuff in here to pretty much take all that white away. I mean, orange juice, I guess, is a little oranger. But, I mean, we're cutting threads. Let's go ahead and smell For the, I, I get an orange. It's almost kind of like an orange Julius, but it's bitter. Like I get that big vanilla coming through. Maybe that coconut cream. It's more like a vanilla cream, vanilla bean ice cream, something like that. But then you have that, that orange rind is in the back. There, I don't know. I'm... Could the bitterness be coming from the pineapple? But yeah, it's more Orange Julius uh, vibe. Kind of soured Orange Julius. Smells great. Let's go ahead and taste. Lots of vanilla. Like creamy vanilla there is a little i would say tang like orange tang in there um acidic orange juice but it's like that vanilla cream is like everything and then you just get hints of other stuff um pineapple Maybe a little bit in the back into the aftertaste. But yeah, it's, I keep saying it, vanilla cream. Then there's, there, there's a tangy orange, uh, like on the sides. Then yeah, maybe a touch of pineapple in the, the back end into the aftertaste. Still very good. I would go 4.25 out of 5. Um... I don't know if I would call this a sour ale because a lot of these sour ales, at least you're getting that sourness. And I know sometimes I complain like it's the, the base is all you can taste. So it is good that we're seeing somebody at least produce a sour that has more taste in it. But then I guess like this, this is like on the other side of the spectrum is it really sour? Uh, could you make it with a different base? Uh, my guess is that acidic kind of tart sourness could come from the orange juice too. But yeah, 
Solid. Let's go ahead and check on tapped. Uh, none of my friends have checked it in. 13 people have 4.25 out of 5. Per style guidelines, vanilla, coconut, pineapple, tart, blueberry. I don't know why blueberry's in there. Um, uh, somebody gave it a 5. Um, great depth, tartness. Yep. Uh, basic. What? I don't know what, why you would say basic on something like this. Icing, fruit chunk icing, vanilla orange flavors. I wouldn't think, it, it's not very tart. I, I think there's going to say sour ale, but I'll check just what style, fruited sour is what they put this in. Yeah, I mean, it works. I do have the other two in the fridge. I, I'm not going to drink those today, but um, yeah, I hope they keep up with this, keep on coming out with different versions of it because they are good and for the price for four bucks sure keep the price the same make a ton more so if you enjoyed this review check out some more over here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and until next time cheers